Hey, hello viewers, welcome to my channel. This is me, Suman, geologist. How are you all? I am expecting you are doing well in your life. Somebody asked in the comment box, sir, I want to get some information about igneous structures. So he asked me, I replied to him, okay, I make a video about this subject. So, okay, why are we waiting for? Uh, let's start our class. In the igneous structures, there are six structures are there which are flow structures, reaction rims, genolith structure, vesicular structure, amygdaloid structure and pegmatite structures. How many types of rocks are there on the surface of the earth? There are three types of rocks are there which are you know very well about those rock types. Again I am telling you igneous rocks, sedimentary rocks and metamorphic rocks. These are having the interchangeable communication between these three rock types. So what is the flow structure? When you see an igneous rock, it has some parallel, subparallel bands or streaks on the surface of the igneous rock which are caused by the flow of magma or lava during the process of solidification or crystallization of magma those bands or sticks are called flow structures meer oka vela oka igneous rock ni ganaka chusinatla ide dan uparitalam paina adda geetalu nilu geetalu nallaga tellaga chaara laaga avapadutuntayi okko sari chaala centimeter size lo ekku untayi meter size lo kuda untunte chaala dooram varaku extend ayi untayi avi magma bhoomi uparitalam meedku vachina tarvata lava solidification process jarige tappudu ఈ ఫ్లో స్ట్రక్చర్స్ అనేవి ఏర్పడతాయి ఒక ఈ స్ట్రీక్స్ రూపంలో కానీ బ్యాండ్ రూపంలో కానీ ఉన్నట్లయితే వాటిని మనం ఫ్లో స్ట్రక్చర్స్గా చెప్పవచ్చు నెక్స్ట్ రియాక్షన్ రిమ్స్ వాట్ ఈస్ ద రియాక్షన్ రిమ్ రియాక్షన్ రిమ్ అంటే ఏంటంటే వెన్ ద ఫార్మేషన్ ఆఫ్ మ్యాగ్మాటిక్ ప్రాసెస్ ద డిఫరెంట్ టైప్స్ ఆఫ్ మినరల్స్ హ్యావ్ బీన్ డైజెస్టెడ్ ఇన్ ద మ్యాగ్మాటిక్ ప్రాసెస్ ఇఫ్ ద రియాక్షన్ ప్రాసెస్ కంప్లీట్స్ దోస్ మెటీరియల్స్ విచ్ హ్యావ్ entrapped into that magmatic material if the reaction rim process is not complete properly which are exposed on the surface of the rock formation rock types so this total process is called reaction rim the subdivisions are there which are corona and calipitic uh, corona means which upward into the magmatic material that is called corona and secondary minerals are associated with the magmatic process that is called pelikitic border these mineral grains are exposed or associated along the mineral grains this process is called reaction rim next one is genolithic structure genolith means stranger first you have to remember the word genolith x e n o l i t h genolith means stranger material when the formation of the solidification process foreign materials are unwanted material which have been entrapped into the magmatic process magmatic material if there are some minerals or some genolithic materials are digested some are not digested if the fragment of genolithic materials which are not digested in the magmatic material which are exposed on the surface of the igneous rock this genoliths are called genoliths and this structure is called genolithic structure for example is dike next one is vesicular structure most of the lavas are having the different amounts of volatiles and gases which have been entrapped which have been entered into the atmosphere after the pouring of the lava on the surface of the earth then vesicles or openings are associated or formed on the surface of the near the volcanic rock these openings are called vesicles this structure is called vesicular structure next one is amygdaloidal structure when the formation of volcanic rocks are having the volatiles or openings which have been filled by the secondary minerals like geolites or colloids 
then one type of structure is called structure is formed that structure is called amygdaloidal structure these vesicles are secondary minerals are associated into that uh, which are entered into that openings to fulfill those gaps or vesicles are called amygdaloids this process is called amygdaloidal structure and final one is pegmatitic structure in this total process or magmatic process of the formation of the igneous rocks some mineral grains are having the more size like several centimeters to meters those minerals mineral grains are called pegmatitic structure means coarse grain which are having a coarse grain to interconnected mineral grains these are called pegmatitic structure so these are the main igneous structures are available in the igneous rocks so simple gl is gl subject is very easy to understand if you have some knowledge about the english if you have if you don't have knowledge about the english or greek words or geology words it is uh, little difficult to understand the geology so who people are joining in this coming academic year into the degree or msc so just make a habit to learn or try to know different geology words or greek words try to read try to spend more time on geology subjects then you will be happy after you are finishing your msc or bsc level in your life it is very easy to settle in your life so what i did in my life i am telling you what i experienced in my life during the past 13 years since 2011 in drda telangana government department district rural development agency so most of the people are asking so many questions or so many doubts uh, through whatsapp or calling when i get free time i i give answer to them uh, to clarify their doubts about subject and career how the geology career is there after finishing our courses like bsc or degree or phd so my humble request is to all geology aspirants or upsc tspsc aspirants to try to more time more experienced people to try to know their experience and their suggestions to fulfill your dreams in your life like vesicles by secondary minerals in the amygdaloidal structure so this is the our class about today okay i made promise to you about igneous structures this video especially dedicating for you only i don't know you, i don't know your name uh, but it will useful for all aspirants so i am wishing you very happy and beautiful wishes to you and all of you for more videos please subscribe my channel thank you i hope you are understanding my languages here after uh, recently telangana dashabdi utsavalu program has been launched on june 2nd so i am very much busy in my regular work so that's why i am not able to do videos about geology subject so after complete your uh, complete my program i will try to make more videos and i will start geology online classes until then bye have a great day for more videos please subscribe my channel thank you this is me suman